Good morning and the purpose of today's video is to introduce you to my collection of standard non-talking My First Thomas Golden Bear trains and vehicles. I'm not going to do them in numerical order because that may well be boring so what I'm going to do is pick them out at random. Uh, I do have numbers 1 to 8 just to let you know but I'm going to pick them out at random and do them one at a time I may not be able to get them all in the picture at the same time but towards the end I'll do a little clip which I'll add to the end of the video the first one I'd like to introduce you to is George George is a steamroller very small face but he is a very good representation in my opinion of George from the series of Thomas the Tank. Now this particular one he's not in fantastic condition so I am looking for a replacement because his wheels are slightly worn. But there's George the steamroller. Next I've introduced you to him before but this is Stanley. Again, in my opinion, a great representation of the train. He's in really good condition. He's in a beautiful white. He's not been affected by the sun. Very, very nice train. So that's Stanley. Then we have one of my personal favorites. Very hard to find one that doesn't have rotor damage. They normally have impact marks from storage. But this is Harold. He's a slightly discoloured Harold, but not too badly. So he's fine for my collection. Still very nice. And even the small one, the rotors do move. And they make a sort of grinding sound. So there, it's very, very nice, Harold. Um, so there we go, there's Harold. Then we have another personal favourite of mine, Bertie the Bus. Really nice representation of the vehicle. Uh, very good condition, could do with his uh, tyres being cleaned. Now there are a number of ways that you can do that. Uh, preferably use a baby wipe and if they're just grubby they do come up clean. Uh, failing that you could use bleach. Now bleach makes them look very very good but I'm not sure whether it impacts their lifespan. It could cause them to dry out and get hard is my concern but I'm not entirely sure. Here we have Bertie. And if you have Bertie, you've got to have all of our favourites. The thing that this series is all about, Thomas the Tank, number one. Again, very good condition. I must have cleaned his wheels at some stage. There's Thomas the Tank. Then we have a really relevant character, today's world. Uh, we're building rubbish dumps all over the world, in third world countries sadly. Uh, this is Whiff. Whiff is deeply into recycling. It's a real great character to introduce to the set. A nice emerald green and a good representation of Whiff. Then we have my probably least favourite character. Not in this series. In this series he's quite a nice character. But the reason why I don't like this particular train is I think it's a very poor representation of Toby number 7. Now Golden Bear, using the name Gulain, did rectify this. But it took until 2010 
So there's Toby, nice black wheels. He's in really good condition. Then we've got just one of the twins. We have Bill. He's in really good condition. Uh, any trains that aren't, I like to replace. And in saying that, Bill has got a damaged tyre. Now these are replaceable. Undo the two screws, pop out the, the, the wheel and axle, and then you can manhandle the axle to take the tyre off. Sadly, you're going to have to destroy one of your other trains to replace his tyre. But well worth doing if you want to make a, a collection. Then we've got one of the naughtiest characters. We've got Devious Diesel. Most people just call him Diesel, but in this series, on numerous occasions, they refer to him as Devious Diesel. Very good condition, nice tyres. There's Devious Diesel. Then we've got Toby's friend, Toad. Really nice uh, representation of Toad. Much better, in my opinion, than what they did of Toby. He's in good condition apart from uh, his whistle should be yellow, slightly worn here. Uh, the white's coming through. But good tyres, still a very nice train. Then we have Edward, number two. Very nice representation of the train. Six wheels, really, really nice condition. There's Edward number two. Got to have Henry. Now Henry is in very good condition. Uh, apart from one of his wheels, needs good clean. Um, Henry came in two versions, which I have highlighted in an earlier video. I'm going to bring out the second version as we speak. Now this is the second version of Henry. Comes with a detachable tender. Uh, in my opinion, not as easy to play with for young children. Very difficult to keep the tender attached when playing, especially if your floor or surface is uneven. But still a very nice train. Just want to compare the faces for you. Yep, the faces look identical to me, but if you notice any difference, please let me know. Of course, the front buffers are different. So there we've got both versions of Henry. Then we've got another favourite of mine. We have Emily. Now, Emily was made in a talking version. But this is still really, really nice for young children. Doesn't talk at all. Beautiful dark, dark green. Now, out of the characters I've introduced you to so far, Harold was a talking version as well. So was Bertie. So was Thomas. So was Edward. Sadly, not Henry, which is really, really sad. Then we've got Daisy. Daisy's a really nice representation. Nice dark black wheels. Really nice, beautiful face. So there's Daisy. Then we've got Gordon. Gordon number four. Very, very nice representation of Gordon and in good condition, could do with a bit of a clean though. And Gordon too, as I've shown you recently, came in two versions. 
again with a detachable tender really nice both look really good um, the only real difference is on the one with the built-in tender they don't give him any buffers which is rather strange no buffers at the rear let's have a look at their faces uh, slightly different colour greys but look the same. Now I don't know whether that's some damage over the years. Could be but I'm not entirely sure. So there's the two versions of Gordon. Then we've got a really nice train. Spencer. Now Spencer also was made in a talking version. Sadly I've bought about four of them and still I haven't got one that works perfectly. And then we've got a lovely little character here. His name is Terence Attractor. Now he makes a, a grinding sound as well. Very nice condition. Terence. Then we have Cranky. Again, in my opinion, a very poor representation of Cranky. I don't believe My First Thomas or Golden Bear ever improved upon that in the My First Thomas range. Now, there is a lever here to make him higher or lower. Uh, there is a button here which activates the magnetic clasp. Sadly, I don't have any of the um, cargo to go with Cranky, but there's Cranky. Then we have number six. Yep, that's Percy. Very nice representation, but sadly, this particular Percy um, is number six, his slight wear. Then we have Rusty. Now Rusty's got number five on him, but that was when he was on a different railway. Uh, beautiful orange colour. Sadly my Rusty has got damage to his nose. Then we have Rosie, beautiful Rosie with her makeup on the front as well. Very nice coloured purple, very good condition. Needs a bit of a clean. Then we have Duck number eight, also known as Montague, I believe, before he came to the island of Sodor. Uh, if I've got that wrong, please let me know. And we've got Mavis, our quarry train. Sadly, Mavis has got some slight damage to her yellow and black warning paint colours, I would say. Uh, there's Mavis. And then the last train I'd like to introduce you to is James. Now, James came in two versions. But I didn't know that until I watched Team Sug, my fellow YouTuber, when he pointed out that James came in two versions. Now I wonder if you can spot the difference. Yeah, that's right, it is the eyes. In one version, I had the uh, Pac-Man looking eyes, and in the other one, it was a perfect black dot. Well, there's my entire collection. I am trying to expand upon what I own, so as it gets bigger and bigger, I'll do an update video. So there you have it, my entire collection of non-talking, standard, my first Thomas, Golden Bear trains. Now, as I said throughout the video, these are absolutely perfect for young toddlers, uh, as an introduction to my first Thomas, they're very small, they're very light, 
they're very durable and they're very enjoyable to play with well thank you very much for watching i hope you like the video as my collection gets bigger i'll do an update but at the moment this is all i possess in the standard non-talking my first thomas by golden bear well thanks for watching please leave a like please subscribe and i hope to see you all again soon